So I was watching Miss Deborah Berry. I'll put the video down below so you guys can look at it. <laughs> and she inspired me to do this week's video. She did a video about all about neutral. So I took inspiration from her. And all this week, I will be wearing neutrals. Just neutrals. There will be no splash of color. It will all be neutral. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> Good morning, Sharon here, Ageless Restyling. Thank you so very much for joining me for another Let's Get Dressed. Obviously heading into the office, so get, let's get dressed for that. But I just, uh, um, based on my intro, I told you guys that I was inspired by Miss Deborah Berry. And I said I'd pull her video down below. Please check her video. She, she's amazing. Did an amazing job. She even called me out about spraying perfume <laughs> on my clothes. But as long as it's not silk, I'm good. But in any event, she inspired me to do a neutral video this week all about neutrals she said neutral is not boring so let me see if I can accomplish the task that she accomplished as sharing neutral and making it not boring there'll be no splash of color it'll just be neutral let's see if I could get through this week so let's get started we're going to be keep it simple today and we're going to start off with this dress <laughs> this animal pink dress we all know it's a neutral <laughs> And this is a vintage express dress that I've thrifted and I've had for a moment. So let me go ahead and put my neutral dress on and I'll be right back. <laughs> I came back. The dress is not. <laughs> Sorry. You know what? Let's start from the bottom up because I'm going to be wearing boots and I prefer to put the boots on first before I put the dress on. So let's start from the bottom up. Change of plans, change of plans, change of plans. All right. So, <laughs> these things happen when you're getting dressed. We know that, especially with me. <laughs> so, starting from the bottom up, my boots. So, I'm going to be wearing these brown boots today. And this is my Steve Madden patent leather boots. And I think these boots would lend some interest to the dress. So, let's put them on. Get the stuffing out. All right, now I need to get my socks, which I didn't get beforehand. And my little shoe stuffer. <laughs> Those who watch me know what this is for. I have skinny ankles. Let me tell the story again. And so, because I have skinny ankles, you know, my boots kind of crunch at the bottom because there's not a whole bunch of ankle there to hold them up. I don't mind my skinny ankles. It's fine because they allow me to walk. And I like to walk, you know? It's, I find it necessary. But to camouflage the skinny ankles. I put socks, th these, um, what would you call these? These dancers thing. And so it kind of helps to fill out these skinny ankles. So the boots don't get so crinkly. What is that noise? Oh, <laughs> I, heard that, I heard an annoying noise. <laughs> and that's the boots rubbing against this acrylic chair all right so let's put the boots on okay gotta make sure i put the right foot on the right foot because i have been known to try and put <laughs> the left foot on the right and trying to figure out why this something not fit you see how it just kind of fills that out there's not so wrinkled that's what that does for me. So it kind of camouflages how skinny my ankles are. <laughs> okay. There we go. The boots are on. Y'all, I love these boots. 
really really love these boots okay so now i got the patent leather boots on let's now put the dress on and i'll be right back all right the dress is on i love this dress i love a wrap dress period and don't let it be a dvf wrap dress but <laughs> anyhow this is just an express wrap dress but i love the print i love the animal print I am going to have to put a little pin right here because y'all yeah, know I'm going into the office. So we have to make it office appropriate and not show too much bosoms. All right, I think that works. I like this dress. I mean, there's nothing like classic wrap dress it will be forever in style now let's add some accessories we're gonna go bold with the jewelry since it's neutral you know I I'm gonna have to do something bold for so for me it's going to be the jewelry so I have had this set this jewelry for <laughs> many 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 years well over 30 years because I remember bringing it with me from California okay I'm gonna put it a little bit closer to my neck because I want to layer the other one with it because I'm gonna be making it chunky yeah so I'm gonna put it closer to my neck without choking myself it wouldn't be good to choke myself <laughs> all right so then we add the other one let's see and this one hooks in the front and I could kind of all right I hooked it to well no it's gonna be low irregardless let's come up a little bit more have going on with the layered necklace so far all right I just have the lariat just kind of like drop it's not too sexy for the office is it hmm. okay now for earrings I brought several pairs in because not pier pairs pairs me no no I don't know what me I say I don't understand all right so let me bring several in um let's see i think let me try this one first because i think this one is a little bit more interesting this little vintage earring here i think this one is a little bit more interesting than the others yeah i like it i like it I'm not even going to bother trying the other because I'm, I'm, I may confuse myself. Give, giving me more options sometimes is dangerous. It can be very, very dangerous at times. So let's go with this. So this is what we have so far with the jewelry. So here is the necklace and the earrings. I like. Yes. I like. I like. It's neutral, but it's not boring. It's not boring. It's not boring. It's not okay. Y'all ain't come here for all of that. I mean, I get carried away sometimes, and I'm going to apologize. Let's bring back some decorum to the getting ready to go to the office. We are going to the office, so we have to have some decorum. No, we won't. Okay, the bag. <laughs> I'm just a nut. So I'm going to carry my, um, my Lueve brown bag, add another texture to the neutral outfit, and I thrifted this bag from the labels in Buckhead a couple years ago. So, I th yeah, this works, this works, so we're going to, that's the Lueve. Now, let me show you guys my lipstick and my makeup. 
so because it's all about neutrals you know we went with this palette so I went with makeup by Mar Mar Mario and I went with his his brown palette and I just simply used two colors this one all over my well actually three this one all over my eyelid this one on the inner lid and this one around my eyes with the, the black so I used really these colors and then my highlighter from my Ju Juvia's Place Warrior palette was this and I also use a little bit of this in the inner corner of my eye you see that can, 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 can you Alright, so that's my makeup. <laughs> and my lippy, we're going neutral. It's MAC and it's MAC, um, what's the name of this color? Touch. So it's this brown MAC called Touch with just a little bit of lip gloss on it. So let's drop that in my bag. Now for my fragrance. Yeah, I'm gonna give Oud Save the Queen a break. <laughs> I'm hard pressed because I yeah I love that fragrance but let me remember some and let's let's bring the technician the fragrance technician out to mix some fragrance so let's see I'm thinking um an a sweet forbidden affair even though my nobody out this not but I have no forbidden affair we've talked about this none of that none of that mm. okay so we got forbidden affair let's see what I can mix it with my allergies are acting up, y'all. So excuse the sniffles, but you know, I saw it go. Oh, wait a minute. This, oh, this, I think this will work. This will work. This will work. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to mix Anna Sui, Forbidden Affair, and Joe Malone, Bitter Mandarin. Hmm. So let's do the Forbidden Affair first. You know, when you mix your fragrance, you create your own signature fragrance, which is really, really nice. I told you guys I'm going back to Paris um, next month. So, well, oh, this smells so good. This smells so good. Not next month, in a couple weeks, because the month soon end. In a couple weeks, I'm going to Paris. And one of the things that I'm going to do while in Paris is going to a um, perfumery. And I'm going to make my own signature perfume. I'm looking forward to that. I'm curious to see what I come up with. So let that marinade follow a bit. This is the marinade dance. If y'all have never seen it before. It's in okay. So <laughs> I'm really just exercising too. <laughs> I'm burning calories as I get dressed. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Any way to burn some calories? <laughs> sure. And go okay. All right. Now let's add the bitter mandarin. <laughs> Oh. oh, it smelled good when I smelled it in the bottle separately. Let's see if it smelled good as I do it on myself. Okay, let's kind of let it marinate some more. Deborah, I didn't spray any of my dress this time. I did my skin. <laughs> okay, all right. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Right. Oh yes, the chemist did good. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, the chemist did good. The chemist did good. Whoop! That was a good one. I have to remember that. Bitter mandarin and Anna sweet forbidden affair. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, I like that. All right, all right. Gotta go. Gotta go. Sunglasses is. It's chilly, but it's a windy, sunny day. <laughs> chilly, windy, sunny day. So let's figure out the sunglasses. I brought four in. <sighs> and I'm gonna go with the one I think is gonna be it. And so that way I wouldn't have to worry about finding another one. Let's see. Y'all, I'm not even, mm -mm. I'm not gonna do that to myself. It's this. It's the Versace. It's this. Th this works. It's this. All right. Yep. Yeah. 
this is it see not oh yeah 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 this is perfect so this is my look for today all about neutrals this week will be all about neutrals check out miss deborah Ber berry's video be um below i'll link it below y'all go and check it out she did styled how neutrals don't have to be boring can be interesting and she gave me the idea after watching her video she gave me the idea to wear neutrals this week so thank you deborah appreciate you y'all check out the video if you have not subscribed to her channel subscribe most of y'all are anyhow the one or two that's not watch the video and subscribe all right megan see you tomorrow bye bye All right, so another day about all about neutral. So let's get started. We're gonna start from the bottom up. I'm gonna start with my boots. So today I'm gonna to be wearing my Schutz olive green boots. You guys, I love these boots. They're so comfortable. Very, very comfortable. So let me go ahead and put them on. Get my stockings and my little skinny ankle trick. <laughs> by now you guys are fully aware of this trick <laughs> it's almost like maybe an addiction to it all right put that stunning socks isn't it but no worries nobody's gonna see it and nobody's gonna wait a minute don't you tell anybody don't 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 say anything you know about this the color of my socks this is just our little little secret the socks and my camouflage is our secret <laughs> nobody else needs to know but us <laughs> okay get this on the key thing is i have to have it down enough but still a little bit up. <laughs> Placement is extremely important <laughs> in this process. Okay, what did I do here? Oh yeah, all right. So here we go. Because we want to make sure it's right around the ankle area. <laughs> Let's put the boots on. Have to make, check to make sure. I put the correct foot on the right foot oh, what a difference that makes you know it doesn't get as wrinkled do you guys see a difference I do I do <laughs> let me know if you think it's in my head <laughs> all right so the boots is on these boots are made for walking and that's just okay yep y'all I wish I could sing if I could sing I would never stop singing. You would hear me singing all over the place. My sister Claudette, oops, sorry, C, <laughs> sorry, has an absolutely beautiful voice. And she don't walk around singing, but I wish I could. Anyhow, let's go back to the fish, to what we came here for, getting dressed. So today, almost everything I'm wearing today no i'm not wearing this this is this I'm not wearing that <laughs> it's thrifted x the only thing that will not be thrifted is the boots and my handbag so i'm wearing this pants or a culotte or whatever they call it there's no tag in it or the designer tag got cut out so and i thrifted this from um goodwill and then I'm wearing my white Stratford shirt. I thrifted from labels, the men's section. And then this sweater is thrifted. And I'm not sure where this one came from. I have an idea. I think it was Goodwill. It's either Goodwill or, um, me can't remember. Anyhow, so let me put all of these on and then we come right back. All right, I have on the first layer. So I have on the, the culottes with the boots. I mean, don't just work together? Yeah. 
I'm exercising, you know. <laughs> Little cheat. Wait, me have to do the other foot. Wait a minute. So it's, yeah. <laughs> Can just do one foot. You have to do the other foot. All right. <laughs> Listen, you do a workout anywhere where you can. All right. So I have the first layer on with the culottes and the boots. And I think they're a perfect match. I'm going to add this, the, the, the sweater now. I mean, I remember when we, when we thrifted from. But anyhow. So let's hope this looks work because I'm realizing that this, you know, the culotte is kind of loose. The, let me see. I'm kind of, I'm kind of um, reconsidering this look as I'm getting dressed, but let's put this on and see. Let us put this on and see because I have on the makeup. I don't want the makeup. Get on it. Get one of these things. This is a, a, a head cap, but I use it strictly to cover my face. And it's so easy. Go out. Let me not stand here and talk with this something from my face. Next thing you know, I'm pass out. And just cover up the face so you don't put makeup on your clothes. I know a lot of people use a scarf. But I prefer this because this kind of like holds on. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Get this off. Woo! 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 Y'all almost suff suffocated under there. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, this may work. Because the sweater is not as loose as I thought it was. So. <sighs> yep, this may work. So I'm just going to remind you guys that. I got the inspiration for all about neutrals this week from Miss Deborah Berry. I was watching her video when she was styling neutrals. You know, I'll, I'll put her video down below, so go and check it out. She's amazing. She's simply fabulous. Okay. You know, this is all zhuzhing, you know? Y'all know, <laughs> I am the zhuzhing queen. <laughs> I will zhuzh, 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 zhuzh. Is zhuzh a terminology or did I do? We don't know if we make it up or anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> so I will zhuzh until the outfit looks the way I want it to. Try and get this collar in the back. down a bit I think I'm finished with the judging me think me done all right pretty hello collegiate don't I <laughs> but I like it it's a little bit different than my um my norm but y'all know I don't have a particular style I, I I do everything anyhow so let's put on my brooches so I'm going to be adding these two brooches. I just so happen to have the same, so I'm going to intertwine them together to give me the look that I want. Hold on a second. Let me fix something here. I have to adjust you guys a little bit because I think, I don't know if I'm cutting my head off because you're a little too low or not, but let's see. <laughs> I think you guys were just a snap bit too low. And I'm not sure, I think I was cutting my head off. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm gonna cut this out or not. I may show you guys some of the technicalities of this whole thing. All right, I think that's okay. Me, I'm gonna leave that in. So I can see sometimes what we have to do. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My head was being cut off I don't have on my glasses so and I have nothing in so I wasn't able to see properly but I'm like is my head cut off in the back but anyhow in the editing I will find out 
Okay. See one C go this way, and then I'll put the. Let's see. Hold on. I'll put the other C this way. Let's see how easy it's going to be. <laughs> or do I just put them? No, no, I want it upside down. All right, Sharon. Let's see. Can you get this in just at the right angle that you want it? Let me see. Ideally, I should have pinned it on before I put it on, but I forgot. I honestly forgot. That was the plan. I was supposed to pin it on before. Oh, but wait a minute. It worked. It worked. Ooh, y'all, today was leg day and these thighs. Woo. Okay. It worked. So now the earring. So I'm going to be adding these earrings. Let's see. Yes. Yes, darling. I like. I like. I like. I like. I like. I like. Up and down. And you know, just adding to the workout. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> The sniffles, the sniffles, the sniffles is getting to me. It's that season. And, but I guess for me, it's almost, it feels like it's almost all year round. So anyhow, the makeup for today is a Juvia's Place Warrior palette and everything. The eyes, the contour, everything. I use everything from this palette. This was the only palette I used today. So I use this all over my lid, contour, this, my highlighter. Let me tell you, this palette, this palette is all you need. And my lippy is Estee Lauder Envy. So that's what the color is for today. And I lined it very, very heavily with my um, chestnut lip liner. I think almost everybody have a chestnut lip liner. Okay, so that's makeup and lippy for today. Now let me show you the, my handbag. My Juvia's Place. My Juvia's Place. <laughs> Jeez, I'm bread shine. <laughs> Juvia's Place, no back handbag. <sighs> my KG. <laughs> my Kurt Geiger handbag. Juvia's place. <laughs> so it's a neutral monochromatic look today. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So now let me add my lipstick to my bag because I've already packed my bag. I just need to add my lipstick and my lip liner. My fragrance for today. Um, are we going to bring the chemist out? Should we bring the chemist out? <sighs> Sheena, what should we test out today? Hmm. I really like the way how the, my test came out yesterday. It was it was good. I kept smelling my, my myself every time I waved my hand around. You know what? I haven't used this fragrance in a while. Um, my Bulgari, is it crystalline? Me can't see. I think it's crystalline. Well, let's see. My nose is a little stuffy. Sorry, you guys. I can't smell. My nose is stuffy. The technician have a stuffy nose. Okay, excuse me. Okay, let's go with this. Hmm. Oh gosh, I, yeah, I keep forgetting how good this smells. What should I mix with crystalline? Hmm. What will complement crystalline? Um. <laughs> Should we try Chanel number no. five? No, Chanel number no. five won't complement crystalline. No, I need to get that smell out my nose. <laughs> Go back to crystalline. Ah! Um, hmm. Hmm. 
You know, I find a lot of Joe Malone fragrances work great with other fragrances. Let's do crystalline. I'm going to try crystalline with um, Joe Malone mimosa and cardamom. Let's see how that works. And then we go add mimosa, mimosa, mimosa. Mm. Mm. Gosh, crystalline smells so good. I don't think Bulgari makes it anymore. Or it's harder to find. Okay. No, Jo Malone, mimosa, and cardamom. Deborah, I'm spraying the clothes. <laughs> yeah, Deborah Berry called me out for spraying clothes. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> but unless it's silk, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Now let's see how they work together. Let me smell. Whew. shining and them don't know everything because they said that we're not going there's no sun today but them don't know everything let me go get our sunglasses may i come right back listen y'all i got i got two shades <laughs> of olive green sunglasses so let's see which one it's going to be is it this one this one oh this is incognito so is it incognito you know incognito i'm hiding okay sharon stop playing and then i got this one from amazon or is it this one y'all i like this one <laughs> it's interesting this is interesting. I like this. Yes, I do. Yes, darling, I like this. All right. <laughs> I find this interesting. Plus, it's not so dark. Just in case <laughs> the weatherman is right. <laughs> so, this is my look for today. All right, y'all. I gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. See you tomorrow. so all about neutrals come to a close today will be the last day of um styling neutrals for me um y'all i had a complete outfit picked out that i was going to style and wear today and i got up this morning and i wasn't feeling it mm -mm, wasn't so when i'm not feeling it i just can't do it i'm sorry so I'm going to need some help. <laughs> I got up this morning and quickly changed my mind about what I, what I was, what I wanted to wear. <sighs> so I'm going to need some help with my selection. I'm smiling <laughs> because what I decided I wanted to wear, um, it's interesting. <laughs> Y'all know I am not the norm I try I try interesting things and you know sometimes just do things a little just a little bit different because who wants to be like everybody else all the time huh <laughs> anyhow but I love it I love it I love it I love it but I'm gonna need you guys help with the handbag and shoes so let me let enough gabbering let me let me show you guys <laughs> 
So, put the belt aside because the belt will come in play later. This is what I'm going to wear and style today. <laughs> it's going to be a bit avant-garde. <laughs> I thrifted this suit from Goodwill. It is a men's suit. And I thrifted this blouse from a, a consignment shop, Revive Consign. Now, I get a lot of comment about wearing men's clothing. And my response to that is, I really don't see it as men's clothing per se. I see it as fabric, which I have purchased and refashioned into a style that I find interesting and different and and, and that's just that's a hundred percent sharing i know a lot of people may not agree with that but you know i just look at it as fabric in my mind and i am not styling it to be a man pretending to be a man when i wear it there is absolutely nobody who sees me in anything that thinks that i am a male even though i got a ball head <laughs> So that's my take on it and in response to, to the comments that I've gotten, I think I may do further research on my own as it relates to the Bible of my Heavenly Father and then make a determination from there. But for right now, it's a men's suit. When I style it, it's going to rock. So let me put it on and I'll be right back. Alright, I have this silk top. Neutral. I didn't realize I had so many neutrals so I started doing this neutral things and finding all of these. But anyhow, um, the pants is a little loose because I did not get this one altered. I actually thrifted it this way, and I, I actually like it a little loose. I don't like for I don't like my pants suck tight on me. Dress is okay, but pants no. <laughs> and I generally have to find fit that fits my legs because my legs are muscular, and so. Um, if it fits my legs, I'm good to go. I am going to put a belt on with this pants. I, I, I keep doing this. Y'all see how hard it is for me to stay low? Anyhow, so I have this belt. And I got this belt, I think, what did I get? I think I got this belt from Shein. Not Shein. Yeah, Shein. I think so. Because it doesn't have a... Um, a mark on it so I think it's Shein let me put it on hopefully it fits and this will help keep the pants waist in keep the pants up because like I said the waist is a little big because I did not get this one altered no let's judge See? Look at the belt. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> I like the belt. All right, now let's put the jacket on. This is the interesting part because this is not necessarily a style, you know, that people would wear. But who wants to blend in? You know, sometimes you want to stand out. There are times when I just want to disappear and then there are times when I'm like nah I'm gonna stand out today and this is one of those times so we know we I'm doing the sleeve I'm gonna judge the sleeve up not so high up Sharon not so high up and then put on my band where's my band band where are you I found one. What did I do with the other one? Okay. See? Can you tell I just switched up today because I didn't prepare for this? Okay, here it is. Found it. All right. So, you know, the, the, the I use these bands to zhuzh up the sleeve that I... You get from Amazon. They're clear. They're hidden when you fold over because they're clear. And, um... 
it doesn't cut off your circulation your, your blood still flows at least it don't cut off mine <laughs> let me say that because <laughs> I am aware that we have different size arm so depending on your arm determine whether or not it'll cut off your circulation because we're not one size fit all it's just a fact of life all right but I have zhuzh up the sleeve now I'm going to attempt to put the collar of the blouse over the collar of the jacket I always struggle with this part I need someone to come in I need a collar bender person <laughs> I wonder if Bella can help me out all right so this is what we have so far <laughs> I love it now for the problem shoes <sighs> I brought two pairs of shoes in one is white sandals I got from um, this is a shoe dazzle white sandals old 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 you wouldn't tell it's old from the shoes <laughs> but this that sandals is well over five six years old and the second option is my Steve Madden patent leather um, cognac um, shoes which perfectly matches the suit and my feet kind of disappears in it so let's put both on and see if, if I can make a decision about which one and you can comment below when I put it on which one you think now obviously I'm not going to be hooking up anything because I don't know which one I'm going to wear yet so hopefully the straps <laughs> You know don't make it difficult to make a decision because I don't want to go through the hassle of strapping up the shoes and then have to unstrap it to take it back off why don't I sit down and put this one on may have the chair right this up and not sitting down all right let's see so this one already given trouble because it's well it's not given trouble but <laughs> of the strappy 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 that goes across it it's not as easy to slip on like the pump okay now let's see <coughs> is it oh I don't know can you guys see is it the pump the brown the cognac pump or the white sandals let's stand on the podium so we get a really good look because y'all this is a very important decision all right carefully get up here <laughs> fix the pants oh <laughs> Sharon <laughs> the things we do for fashion huh don't want to fall though so is it the white sandals or the cognac pump which one is it which one okay this is not a good idea this since me cannot stand still me can't stand still let me fix let me um come down upon the grog because my tumble and fall break something it won't be too good you don't heal as quickly when you're 62 you know the bones don't heal so quickly so falling is not a good thing all right so which one hmm? which one we will go with the white sandals or the cognac pump i like them for different reasons i like the contrast the white gives but i like the way how the cognac elongates my legs which one let me bring the bag the two bags that i brought in so maybe that will help me and us make a decision because i brought two bags in one is my white bag 
Yeah, I've seen this plenty, plenty of time. I don't know if I've shown this, but I think I have. This is my little uh, Brahmin. Okay, so I was thinking, this is my thought. This is what I was thinking. If I wore the white sandals, then, you know, I will wear my Brahmin bag with the white sandals. Or if I want to go complete monochromatic, it could work with this too. So this is the bag situation. We got the Brahmin. We got the Brahmin bag. How does it look with the white? What's your thought? How does it look with the cognac? You know? This really gives it a nice monochromatic look. If I wore the white bag, I don't, for some reason, I don't like the white bag with the white sandals. I can't explain it, but I don't like the white bag with the white sandals. I do like it with the cognac um, pump. So what is it going to be? <laughs> which shoes, which bag? Which shoes, which bag? Which shoes, which bag? Which shoes, which bag? Okay, I really have to go. I don't have a lot of time, so I gotta make a decision. This is what happens when you wake up in the morning and you change your mind about the outfit. <laughs> um, woo! Sharon, can y'all tell me? Can, can, can you can can you tell me so I can hear you? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Help my sister out. <sighs> I have decided I don't like the white bag for whatever reason. I don't like the white bag. I don't. I prefer the Brahmin. So the question is, do I want to just? <clears throat> getting dressed and then we'll come back to the shoes i have picked out the bag already so that's listen that's that's major that's one problem done we're gonna come back to the shoes let me kind of walk around with one on one and, and kind of see <laughs> which one i think i'm leaning away but i'm not 100 percent. now let's finish with the accessories all right so yeah i know a flower is going to be in the mix right <laughs> i'm going to add my white flower <laughs> Anytime I wear a suit like this, a flower always come in. Well, not always, almost always, most of the time, always, but most of the time. We well, don't understand. Yeah, flower. All right. So we got my big white flower. Okay. And my earring. I brought in a couple earrings. Because, <laughs> like I said, this was a last minute this um, change, so me wasn't too sure about the earrings. Um, let's see. Let's try this one first. This one is interesting. I've had this earring for many, 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 many years. Whose is it? I don't know. Anyhow, let's see. Okay, y'all. I don't think I'm gonna try the other ones on because <laughs> I already love this one. <laughs> I love this earring! Look at the earring! I love the look of this earring. Ah! Oh. Yes! I'm not even gonna try the others on. No, 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 no. Okay. <clears throat> it's just it's just gonna be this one. I like, I like. Make a decision about the shoes. Which shoes? Sharon, <laughs> which shoes? Oh my gosh. Okay, I made a decision. I'm gonna go with the um with the Steve Madden cognac shoes. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, this was cute, but there's something more elegant about the cognac, the Steve Madden. So that's that's the direction I'm going with. If you disagree, let me know. Let's talk in the comment section. Okay, so now that I've made that decision, we can proceed. 
it was hard for me i'm not gonna lie it wasn't easy because i really liked both of them <sighs> but i think the cognac finished it off for me and um plus the fact that it elongates my legs you know anytime you can make your leg them look longer i say go for it okay come on i'm all listen let me put these shoes on and then we'll come back because me always i struggle put on the shoes i'll be right back like a pump you can't just stick your foot tonight and gone you don't have to worry about hook up nothing and I'm, I'm tell you but you know what you have these hook on something but i think i hooked this one a little bit too tight hold on may i come right back i'm gonna hook this one too tight <laughs> i am a crack up <laughs> hold on wait, wait a minute <laughs> okay well that didn't all right let's see okay Yeah, that feels better. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. That strap a little bit too tight, Sharon. Okay. Yes. It's the brown cognac shoes for me. I Yeah. I think it, it, it looks better. My bra straps keep falling. I have to tighten it. Okay. One of the buttons came unbuttoned. I don't know what's wrong with the button. Why is it unbuttoned? Okay. All right. This is a look with the bag, with the bag, with the bag, with the bag. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm gonna have to pack my bag off camera because I wasn't sure about which bag I was gonna take. All right, so this is the bag. Y'all, excuse me. These allergies, oh, runny nose, watery eyes, you know, all of the stuff. So now let me show you my makeup for today. So let's look at the makeup. Can you see? Come closer. This is the eye. And I use Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. But I first started with my favorite Black Radiance palette. I put this blush all over my eyelid. I use it as a blush too, but you know, it can do multi things, multiple, multiple things. And the color that I use today is Crimson Mulberry. This one, we can't see upside down, so we can't see the name on this one. So it was this, 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 and this. These are the colors that I use from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette today. And my lippy for today, line, I had to line my lips really good with my um, chestnut. And it's the Chanel, and it is the, um, what's the color? Oh yeah, Tender Beige. So it's the Chanel Tender Beige lip color today. Let's see. Mm. Yep. I want a neutral. So it's a good neutral. All right. Now, let's see. Fragrance. I don't feel like mixing today. What time is it? Oh, I have to go. I have to go. I now I have time for mix. So I want a strong fragrance today. Let me go with um, Altoba. Let's go with my Altoba oil. I have to be careful because I'm wearing silk, my silk shirt, <laughs> and I can't be spraying <laughs> or getting the oil on my silk shirt. So, gotta let it go in. Oh, oh my, oh, God. okay, okay. Sharon, watch the oil. That's the problem with it because um, once I start using it, oh, oh my, y'all. Mm. This, uh, oh, oh, this Altoba oil. 
smell so good, so good, so good. Mm. So, so, so good. And my sunnies for today, it's going to be my Mew Mew, Mew Mew, my white Mew Mew. I only brought one in, so I hope it works. I think it will, yeah. The white Mew Mew. I think it works perfectly. I think it works perfectly. So my friends, this is my look for today. <laughs> Thank you so very much for joining me and watching me as I get dressed and act up. <laughs> I just like to have fun. I have fun with it, you know? If you're gonna do something, make it fun. <laughs> if you're watching me and you you come to this part and you're not subscribed, you should just go on ahead and subscribe because obviously you're entertained. <laughs> I want to thank my supporters. Thank you so, so, so very much for all your support for hanging in, in there with me. I do want to say something. If you guys may have noticed, I don't, I said I was going to post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It became very challenging for me to do that. And so I am no longer going to be, I'm not going to be posting consistently on a Monday. If I have a video or something that comes that I feel like I want to post, I'll post, but it will not be consistent on a Monday. But Wednesday and Friday will be consistent, but Monday will not. And I hope you guys understand. I still work full time. I am a grandmother. I have a life. <laughs> I, and this is fun for me. And I want to continue to make it be fun and not so, so much pressure on myself. I was putting a lot of pressure on myself and I don't want to do that because I want it to be fun. So thank you so much for your understanding. If you want to continue to support me, thumbs up, comment, and share. I always leave with find a reason to smile. And my reason for smiling is um, Joel, Joel 2.32. And it says, And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Let me repeat that. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For on Mount Zion and in Jer Jerusalem, there will be deliverance, as the Lord has said, among the survivors whom the Lord calls. So he calls your name and you call and he calls you. You call up on his name and he calls you. You will be saved. People think that we have to jump through hoops for God to acknowledge us. We don't. We just have to acknowledge him and be the best person that we know how to be. God is not asking for perfection from anyone because he know we're not perfect. We were created perfect until we sinned. <laughs> and after that, it was broken. So he has made allowances for us because as human beings, we're prone to sin. We're prone to make mistakes. But as long as we acknowledge the things that we do and call upon Him and call upon His name and ask for forgiveness, we will be saved. He will acknowledge us. So don't think that you, you're not worthy or that you're... There is nothing... Think about it. As a parent, I know me as a parent. If my children... You know, them, them are adults, you know, they're, they're not children, they're, they're my big, 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 <laughs> my, my baby is 42. <laughs> but if your children do something and they come to you and they say, mom, dad, whomever, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, wouldn't you forgive them? So if we as human beings, being imperfect, will love and forgive our children, how much more will our Father do for us? So I smile because of that. Because I know that even though I'm imperfect, He loves me and accepts me and knows my imperfection and is guiding me whenever I call upon His name. So you find your reason to smile. And until next time, this is Sharon saying bye-bye.